What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how to change a carburetor. Change a carburetor on any kind of lawn equipment like a weed whacker, a trimmer, a blower, any engine. This is usually the problem why they won't start after a while. And before we take this off, let's pull off these lines, these gas lines. So the first thing we're going to need is our screwdriver. Let's take out these two screws. Pull out the screws. Once you get that screw out, now we can see the carburetor. The problem with this carburetor is that it was flooding. It was just these gaskets go bad. That's what's going to be the problem if your equipment's sitting for too long. If gaskets go bad, then it's just not going to start. It's never going to run right. You're going to have to buy another one of these, another one of these carburetors. Next, you got to take out this throttle cable. So twist it back, pops right out. There you go. That's how you take out the carburetor. Now to install the new carburetor. Not too bad. New carburetor. Before we install the new carburetor, we gotta take the gasket. This gasket's gonna go right here, like this. See where that's going? So we're gonna install the throttle cable, put it through the hole there. Pull back on the throttle, line up that, and it'll line right in there. And then stick the cable right in the slot. Now that we got our throttle cable in, Take our gasket, we're going to take the air filter box, put it right on top, and then we'll start with one screw. It's easier to line up one screw than to do two at a time. So you get it started, one, take the other screw. usually lines itself right up. Screw it down, make sure they're tight. You don't ever want to tight, over tighten. You don't ever want to over tighten screws in aluminum. It can strip it. This is the breather, breather hose. Put that back on. Just put the hoses back on the same way they came off. Put the air filter lid back on. And that's how you change the carburetor on any one of these small engines. 